Okay, here we go. Michael Viverka is here, director for men's and women's golf. Uh, Coach, how are we doing? I'm good. I'm enjoying quarantine as much as possible, making the most out of it, um, trying to be productive and you know, trying to st- trying to stay fit. Mostly, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's really easy to kind of find yourself sitting on the couch all day long, whether doing doing work and then binging Netflix and doing work and binging Netflix, and um, it's really easy to fall into that trap. So we're trying to stay out and get out and about safely. Uh, while social distancing and um, trying to play a little bit of golf and, and keep in contact with the teams, get stuff ready for next year. So staying busy, but trying to not be too sedentary. How does that translate or does it translate to um, your your athletes at all, you know, showing them that you're still making an effort to do mm-hmm. things? Is that part of your plan from a coaching standpoint or is that just you personally doing that? Yeah, it, I think that's always been part of my, my coaching um, mentality is lead by example a lot of times, uh, whether it be playing golf on the course, um, instruction, like that kind of thing, but especially with, with fitness um, or, you know, health and well-being, especially mentally and physically, um, you know, getting in the weight room with them while they're in while they're in season, things like that, and um, showing them that it's it's vital to not only you know your performance on the golf course, but overall well being in life. And um, for me, I, I I just can't sit still. <laughs> so this this quarantine stuff's been been kind of tough in that aspect. But um, you know, fixing up some bikes, riding around as fast as possible, and staying outside, but you know, keeping that distance from everyone's been been really helpful. Um, for keeping sanity, uh, but but keeping away some some unwanted pounds and things like that. Yeah, because it's easy to put the quarantine fifteen. <laughs> it on. is. Nah, it really sure. is. But <laughs> you know, it's it's been good. So it's been been a lot, a lot of fun to, to get out and about. So when it comes to some of those activities for uh, anybody, not just your athletes or yourself, golf has been one of those things that people are still doing. Mm-hmm. So have you noticed that this is? Uh, has it has it actually affected the? Uh, I, I know you're not playing in tournaments, mm-hmm. but your athletes are they still able to go out and, and practice their skills on a course? Yeah, so all but a few. So Maryland just opened up their golf courses again. Um, we have we have two um, athletes coming in for next year out of Maryland. So they've been I've, I've been getting videos from them. One's been um, hitting old balls that they found off of a dock. Because they live right off the right off the water, um, and just kind of ripping them into the um, the blue beyond. And the other one is um, they actually quarantined um, at a, a separate house in Virginia, or just inside Virginia, so they were able to play. Um, so if anything, it's been for them beneficial because they're able to work on their games a little bit more mm-hmm. um, and get out there and and focus on it. Um, you know, they they lose the the aspect of that that tournament pressure. Um, but they've all been doing a really good job of, of playing against each other or, you know, going out and finding games um, with, with people from the club, things like that, and, and keeping that competitive fire going. So we've been texting with ideas on, on how to, to keep that alive um, and ready to go. So um, a lot of the, uh, the states that and organizations that hold golf tournaments over the summer for amateurs and things like that just started opening back up or released their plans to open back mm-hmm. up. So... Fortunately, they're going to be able to, it looks like, get back into that, um, which is going to put them in a really good spot coming into the fall. Golf is a sport that technology has been a major game changer Mm -hmm. for it uh, over the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years especially. Absolutely. So how is is it using technology now from you from a coaching standpoint? You're Mm -hmm. not able to go and – you know, see any tournaments? Mm-hmm. Has it has it affected you the way that it has affected some coaches? Because I do remember being in your office before, and you are online just watching people swing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I guess I'm just really curious. I'm doing a really bad job of bringing up this question, but <laughs> has it actually? Do you think it's affected you negatively as much as it has other sports, or is it just kind of? It's different, but you still have some of the same components. It's a little different, uh, but. I think for us versus, let's say, a lot of team sports, we've been really fortunate for it because um, what my recruits have done and a lot of a lot of players have done is just go out and film themselves playing nine holes and just um, you know trim those clips down, obviously, and, and put it together as a video. Um, so just do basically like a live look into it. Um, or I'll have players FaceTime me and they'll be working on their swing. Um, 
and I'm able to give them feedback right away. Or they'll send me a video and I can, you know, I have a, a recording app on my phone where I can draw some lines on it, record my video or my voice over the video. I'm um, just send it right back to them in five minutes. So it's almost, it's as close to being in person as you can be. Mm-hmm. Um, so, for, you know, for us, it's, it's been really helpful because, you know, it doesn't change our pace versus, you know, a team sport where they're trying to watch that player interact with other teammates, which really isn't possible right now. So, you know, they can see their, their one-on-one drills and things like that. But for us, we can see it the whole game. Um, so we're, we're fortunate, you know, it's, it's a social distancing sport at its base. Um, so we've been, been able to kind of take advantage of that in this whole time. We've talked a lot about the present and even a little bit of what the future might look like, but mm-hmm. I do want to make sure that we talk about the, I guess, the little bit of season that you did have. Mm-hmm. Uh, you were able to have a fall season, which is mm-hmm. great, uh, and then portions of, of a short spring season. Right. This was a, a historic year in terms of women's golf mm-hmm. being a part of the Lynchburg Sports um, family. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious, as you've certainly had time to – sit back and just think through how things went uh first time ever doing something like this Mm -hmm. what are your overall thoughts on on how it went and and where you think this particular women's golf program can go Mm -hmm. when you look at what you've established through one almost year Mm -hmm. uh and also who's coming in yeah uh so you know looking back at it as as a whole season you know we we kind of came into it with some pretty lofty expectation just because we knew the talent that we had coming in even in that first year uh, but we're kind of blown away even then um, so you know we finished the year we played on the women's side five full team events um, and we took third third or fourth third second second and first in all those events and and in that order so we Not were bad. trending right um which is, which is kind of like the bummer because they were trending in that and they were about to hit that stride right when all this happened. So that's, that's when they were you know, bummed out the most because they knew what, what was in store. Um, and then looking at that and then looking at who else is coming in this year, it's like, oh, wow, they're going to be even stronger next year. So, you know, we don't, we don't want to say, you know, like, let's go out and win every single event. They probably could um, because they they have a lot of talent and um, they're all just really quality um, young ladies coming in, um, and they're gonna have some good leadership um, of the returners. So, you know, looking forward, it's it's kind of exciting to see where they're at and at such a young stage in the program. Um, so, I'm just really eager to kind of get them back up and, and running um, and get them out there facing some tough competition mm-hmm. um, and see where they stack up. But I think they're gonna do do well. Um, you know. Tee it up, hold it out 18 times, and count it up. Well, obviously, when you came in, there were certain challenges to being at a, at a new place and mm-hmm. uh, trying to coach people that you hadn't recruited. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to know n- that you you know, you know did recruit this first class of, of women's golfers, mm-hmm. so that challenge is, isn't really there. What challenges were there, and how, how were you able to – overcome those to have the success that you just mentioned yeah you know it's it's a different set of challenges um but it's it's kind of a fun one because you you kind of get to to script it all out um where you're you're picking you're picking the players you're picking the lineup you're picking the roster um the the challenges that come into it are are finding the right tournaments because you're you're building a, a schedule out of scratch you know you don't have a baseline to go off of you know golf unlike uh, most other sports we don't have a conference schedule set out so we only have a few stipulations on what we have to do in the conference wise to play um, so the rest is, is going out and finding those tournaments that would be you know really good events for the team um, as far as challenges wise good opportunity to play at this course because it's going to prepare us for this course um, so kind of lining all that out um, and then establishing the the culture has been the big part um, you know it's that's the fun opportunity of it because, you know, unlike coming into a program and trying to either shift the culture or, or maintain it, things like that, you get the chance to, you know, start it from scratch the way you want to. Um, and that's really the, what we've been kind of harping on um, and focusing on with, with Coach C and I. Um, and I think we've done a really good job of that, especially with, with this next incoming class. Um, it's kind of all 
the pieces are, are starting to come together in that puzzle, which we've all been doing a lot of during this quarantine. So um, it's exciting. Um, it's it's going to be fun, and I, I look forward to the, the challenges that it kind of presents next year. Thank you.